I was the oldest of uh, seven children, um, and uh, when I was 10 years old, I was already the oldest of seven children living in Brooklyn um, in a two-bedroom apartment. My dad, um, you know, we were a little more fortunate in the sense that our, uh, my dad had his brother already here, so we had a little bit of some support that other immigrant families unfortunately don't have. Um, and many things resonate with me in this book. I think the idea and, and people understanding the difference between, um, for example, what I call Muslim culture, Jewish culture versus religion, like nothing in my religion says I have to be in an arranged marriage, right? Like that's just not part of my religion. But the culture that I grew up, that was, that is my culture. So uh, while this was written, you know, while this happened, I don't know, 1900, I got married in Brooklyn, New York in 1997 in an arranged marriage right here in New York City. It was something that my parents, um, my parents uh, grew up believing or they were taught that, um, you know, the, you were suited for someone, that it wasn't that you just went out there and like found someone that you loved and it didn't matter what they worked or how they were, you know, they, there was a couple of like criteria and it was the idea of putting your daughter into the hands of stability, that you weren't going to let your daughter just go out there and make her own bad choices, that your parents had their best interest in you.